Okay, so I'm going to talk about each of the ten songs on the album, and uh, I'm going to do I'm going to break that up into four chunks. So uh, this time I'm just going to talk about the first two songs, uh, Deus Lux, which you can hear in the background. This is the first song I wrote uh, for the album, and um, it's sort of a demonstration of why I've taken up the stick, the Chapman stick. Uh, I came up with a bass line for the song on, on the stick, and uh, that's, that's what you hear playing, uh, the bass is the, is the stick. And then uh, I also use it for those big, low, distorted chords. Anyhow, the point is, the, the stick breaks me out of the keyboard ruts that I tend to fall into uh, as a composer. I love when the bells come in. When I, when I got that all going together, I just thought, wow, this, okay, this is a keeper. And um, I love this song. And uh, so I've got Scott singing uh, in the choir there with me, and um, uh, Pat, Pat Neal playing terrific guitar, and uh, Sudo Lopez uh, playing the drums. Okay, Love is Standing Near. Uh, many songs, as they're being written, just flow forth and come together with inspired ease. Uh, that is not what happened <laughs> with this one. Um, perhaps because there was a prior version recorded some 30 years ago, um, and so it wasn't, I wasn't starting with a blank slate, I was starting with this uh, old version and I wanted to update it and Gregorianize it. So I wanted to give it a more contemporary sound uh, and a more ancient sound at the same time. The main reason I wanted to do this song on this album is because the lyrics are brilliant in my opinion and they were written by my my old dear friend Jay Pilkington, who's a tremendous guitar player, he, he plays the guitar on this song and um, played the bass, uh, some of the bass on this song, and he's a, just a wonderful guy and a brilliant lyricist. And um, so I, I wanted to, to make do a remake of this song uh, for that purpose. I changed the melody and the uh, structure and, and uh, a whole bunch of things about it, but uh, the lyrics stayed virtually unchanged. Um, they're so good, and they're they're about a universal topic about being uh, wounded emotionally and needing someone to tell you that it's not the end and that hope is real and exists and love is standing near. Reasons don't matter. Reasons don't matter. 